Hello. I have a message that I would like to share with you that the Lord had given to me yesterday, January 24, Monday, 2022. And the message is the following. Psalms 23 is the psalm that God would like for us to pay attention to for the year 2022. Because what is going, getting ready to happen this year will require that our faith increase and that we increase our trust in the Lord. Situations will unravel that will look so baffling and can cause us to lose hope and can cause us to have much trepidation. But I'm here to encourage you. The Lord says, fear not. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 talks about being courageous, stand still, being courageous, stand firm rather, be courageous and trust in the Lord that he is with us. He's not with us because of the church. He's with us because of the relationship we have. If we don't have a relationship with the Lord, if we are not one of the sealed ones, situations will look very dire. And this is an opportunity for anyone who find themselves in that corner to get themselves ready. The Lord sends messages as crazy as they sound. It is a warning. It is not to scare people. It is only to motivate people to think over their life. And if they go in the wrong way, to turn around. He is a loving father. One who does not desire that any of his children should die. So it's with, it's with great concern that I deliver this message in the hope that salvation will be found by those who are not saved and those who are saved would remain encouraged. Having said that, there's a lot of things that are coming this year. Judgment is about to fall on the wicked. But remember that in Psalms 91, the Lord promised that although a thousand may fall at that left, ten thousand shall fall at that right hand, but in there shall not come near thy dwelling. Trust in the Lord. I'm here to say that God is getting ready to take judgment upon all those who have been hurting his children. The ministry. Judgment begins at the house of the Lord. So he's starting with the church. He will be exposing so many people who are false prophets who have been leading his children with false doctrines doing things using witchcraft in the church doing things that are ungodly and causing the world to laugh at the church they forget that they call themselves by Christ's name and they're not even his the book of Isaiah tells us that in that day shall we find seven women will be working will be will be saying to one man give us your name and that's what's happening in a lot of those churches they bear the name of being Christians and they're not they're not believers they're not followers of Christ they're not upholding the teachings of the of the of the Lord that is found in the Bible and they teach others to err to disobey to go the wrong way and so what God is getting ready to do He's getting ready to do it in a fashion that no one will doubt that it's the Lord who has done it. So judgment is going to start in the church and it's imminent. The second message that the Lord gave me was that there are a lot of people who have turned around and stolen from his people. They have stolen their wealth. They have stolen their lives. They have stolen their opportunities. They have destroyed them. They have killed them. They have mutilated them. They have abused them. They have called them names. And they're preparing to do much more slaughter. And when they think they're going to succeed, the Lord says that he will laugh at them. He will laugh a great laughter. Because the wealth that they use, that they stole from his people, that they're getting ready to use to destroy his people 
is that same wealth that's going getting ready to disappear when they look for it in a twinkle of an eye the Lord is going to send a whirlwind to wipe away their wealth there are those that are making huge plans of conquest huge plans of sacrificial death so that they can bring about the upcoming leader there are things that they're planning. Don't be so swift. Don't be so swift. God is yet on his throne. He created man in his image. But many people are trying to change man into another image. If they want to do that, they need to go and create their own human beings. He created man already. And we are his children. He paid his life with his life to redeem us. So it's time for us to recognize that. So I'm here to say to you, many things are going to happen. But look upward. Look upward. He said there's not going to be need for anybody to teach his children. That he himself is going to start teaching his children according to Joel chapter 2 because he will pour out his spirit on all flesh and they will know things intrinsically because he will teach them because the ones that he did not call decided to make themselves shepherds over his people and have blinded so many and brought so many to hell and that is the reason why Jesus when he was on the earth he said if the blind leads the blind, both will fall in a ditch. So we have no excuse. Well, I didn't know, Lord. No, I didn't know. I was blind. I was deceived. It's not an excuse. Because he's sending out warnings now. Take the time. Find out who God is. He wants a relationship with you. He's calling you home. He doesn't care what you did. In the sense that he died so you can be redeemed. There's not one person on this earth who can say they never sinned. Such person doesn't exist. The only one who could have said that was Jesus. And we know he was the son of God. In the flesh. The word manifested in flesh. So therefore, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. God loves you. Sometimes people... When you start telling them about Jesus, they get offended. Don't get offended. We only say that we have found a lifeline. We have found someone who forgave of us all of our sins, who loves us beyond measure, who help us to believe again, who help us to understand all the things that needs to be done. And for that reason, who wipe away our guilt <laughs> and gave us a fresh new sleep. And for that reason, we are serving him. He has kept us. He's the lifter of our head. He's our deliverer. He's our provider. He's our healer. He's our defender. He's everything. He loves us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And so I am here to say, turn to Jesus. Look into the word of God for instructions. Look to him. Pray to him. Ask him to give you understanding. Ask him to lead you in the path that you should go. And mend your relationship with your father. Don't be faithful to our religion. Don't be faithful to our religion. And don't be faithful... Oh, my church is the best. No, God is... A, th that thing happened in the book of Acts. Um, not in the book of Acts. In the Bible. Where this one says, I am a Paul. I am of, the, uh, I'm of Apollos. All of us need to look to the Lord. Anyone you see that is in the Lord's vineyard, that is a true believer, that is a true servant of the Most High God, is under um, assignment, is under 
uh, uh, the leadership of the Lord. And so we have to follow the Lord. We have to follow the Lord and not any one person. Keep your eyes focused because men can fail, but God will never fail. So this was Pastor Daniela bringing you this word and praying. Father, in the mighty name of your son Jesus, bless your people, help your people. And Lord, shield us. The promise says that those that are sealed, no harm shall come to them. I pray that your people will come and trust you and believe. And those that are outside will get into the lifeboat so that they too can be saved. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.